In this video, I'm going to show you how to get an API key from MailChimp so that you can interact with it from other applications like your website or your mobile application or maybe your Facebook page, for example. So here's how you get it done. Log into MailChimp and you need to have a list. So the list is the bucket where all of your subscribers sit. So we're going to create list. We're going to create a really straightforward one called subscribers. Here's a quick look at the information we're going to put in. So we're going to give it a simple name, who it's from, usually the company name is a good start, your email address that it's going to come from, the default subject, you can change that every time you send an email, but just for the moment we're going to say your EDSK update. How did they get onto the list? That's going to appear at the bottom of the email, so you subscribed for updates from our website and there's our information. Now you can also have notifications whenever anybody subscribes. That's fine. And do people need the ability to check HTML or plain text? Probably not anymore, but the option's there. So click Save. All right, so once you've got your list, you, in order to use MailChimp, you have to do a bunch of other things to actually send to it. But for the moment, we don't need to do any more. OK, once we've got our list, we can then go to settings and under settings that will give us some information that we'll need for using this list later on. And the first piece is the unique ID for the list subscribers. So that's the first ID you're going to need. Now that's useful when you want people to subscribe through an application you want them to go into a specific list. The other piece of information we need is the API key. That's called an Application Programming Interface Key. And to get the API key, we go into our Account Settings, and underneath Extras, we go to API Keys. Now it's recommended that you create an API key for each application. So you might create a key for your Facebook application, one for your website, and one for your mobile application. This is how you do it. It's very easy. Click Create Key, and MailChimp will give you a new key. It tells you when it was created. It tells you who created it. You can put a label against it, and there's the key with a QR code if you need that too. So I recommend you give that a label. So we're going to label that one as Website, so that we know that that's where it's in use. If there's ever any spamming or uh, any issues with that key, then we can actually come in, disable that, and maybe create another one. Just below that, it gives you some historical information about API calls, when stuff happened. It's a very good little page to come and check on if you need to know a bit more or your developer needs to know a bit more about what's going on. Once you've got your API key and your list key, you can take those and drop them into the application, and we'll show you how to do that a little later on. 